Hi, it's Stephanie again. When there are three or more trained rescuers available to help provide CPR, they can use the team approach. One of the rescuers takes over the role of team leader, which means that they observe and direct the actions of others. This ensures that CPR is being performed effectively and efficiently. The purpose of the team leader is to help organize the rescue effort by increasing communication and providing documentation. Closed loop communication is a skill that is used to make sure that everybody knows what's happening and what they are supposed to be doing. Basically, when the team leader gives an order, one of the rescuers repeats back the command, which means that they understood and that they will follow through with the action. The team leader is responsible for taking notes and logging the times that skills are being performed. They are also observing the rescue effort to make sure that all techniques are being performed correctly as a sort of quality control measure. If they see that any part of CPR is not being done correctly, then they can give encouraging advice on how to fix it. The team leader should write down any of the patient's vital signs and the time that CPR was started. For example, if the rescuer one says they are starting CPR now, then the team leader would say, starting CPR at 2.15 p.m. and write it down. This is an example of closed loop communication. The team leader can also help count compressions and keep track of how many cycles have been done, how much time has elapsed, and when it's time to switch rescuers. They can also make sure that compressions are being performed at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and that the chest is being compressed to a depth of 2 to 2.4 inches. They can also help ensure that the chest rises and falls with each rescue breath being delivered. It is important to implement a debriefing session after the rescue to help reduce staff stress. The debriefing process enables the opportunity to identify any issues that can be worked on by the resuscitation team in the future. This concludes the team approach to adult CPR. Thank you for watching.